今天我们要讲的呢是 Production Possibility Fronted 知识点，简称为 PPF。呃，这也是每年必定会出现的考点之一啊。Uh, so first of all, let's look at the definition. So PPF, it's actually a curve showing the maximum combinations of goods or services that can be produced in a given period with Available resources. This definition, ah, it has a few important information. First of all, it's a curve. So, ah, when we encounter the PPF question, we usually give a graph. For example, it's like this. And on this side, it's quantity of good X. On this side, it's quantity of Good Y. Ah, 那这一条就是我们的 PPF。但它还会给到几个点啊，比如说在这条线上的，在这条线里面的和线外面的，又分别代表什么呢？我之后会细讲。但是一定要记住，在这一条 PPF 线上面的点，都是我们的。Maximum combinations of goods or services. Ah, 好，还有一个重要点是什么 ？In a given period with available resources, 也就是说，我们的 production 呢是在一定条件下发生的。它有一个限定的 given set of resources. For example, time, capital, or human resources. Ah, 好，接下来。我们来看一个简单的例子，这是我从书中提取的一个非常非常简单的 example. So first of all, the green line is our PPF. 那我之前画的这个 PPF 是一条曲线，对吧？那怎么这个书中的例子这又变成绿色的了呢 ？So if the PPF is a straight line, then There is a constant opportunity cost between the two goods. 这是一个非常非常有用的信息，大家一定要记住。如果给你的 PPF 是直线 ，then there is a constant opportunity cost between the two goods. All right. 好，那图中还给什么信息了？我们的这个 x 轴啊，它代表的是经济体的数量。Y 轴呢，代表的是数学题的数量。啊，举个简单例子，比如说一个人在一小时内，他可以做的这个数学题或者经济题的数量，它肯定是有限的嘛。啊，那根据这个题中给的信息呢，比如说 ，these are the two extreme cases, point A and point B。在 point A 的时候，我一人一小时只能做。五道数学题 ，Point B， 一人一小时做五道经济题。那 Point C 代表的是什么意思呢 ？Point C， 你大家看这个坐标啊，它对应的是三道数学题加上两道经济题。OK， so how about Point E and Point D？ Point E is actually inside the frontier. What does that mean？ 啊，比如说。你本来有一小时应该做题，但是你花了二十分钟去看电视了。那好了，你只能做两道数学题加上一道经济题了。那明显就是没有充分合理利用你的时间嘛，对吧 ？So it's actually an example of inefficient use of resources. Then how about point D? It's actually outside of the frontier. 我相信大家都有这个举一反三的能力啊，所以呢。视频后可以想一想 ，point D 代表的又是什么 ？All right， 我们来看一道真题。这是 at Excel 二零一五年 Unit One 的第一题。嗯、um, ，先教大家一个考试的技巧啊。大家一看题啊，扫一眼，它的考点哪些啊 ？Production Possibility Frontier PBF， 对吧？下面还有什么？这些 keywords， opportunity cost， 啊，那这样一道 MCQ， 一道选择题，一共四分
答案选对了给一分，其他三分呢都是解释。那看你都已经发现了这个考点有 PPF 和 Opportunity Cost， 首先写下 PPF 和 Opportunity Cost 这两个的 definition 啊，这个呢就可以让你拿到。两分的基本分，啊，这个是必须必须要拿到的，千万不能丢了。然后再来看一眼题，你看这个题和刚才的那个例子非常像吧？它的 x 轴代表的是 number of consumer goods，y 轴代表的是 number of capital goods。那 consumer goods 顾名思义是和我们日常生活有关的 ，capital goods 呢，它是。呃，是一个 factor of production， 对吧 ？It's capital， 它是有利于经济经济建设的。啊，先弄懂这两样 goods 到底是什么意思。好，那来看一下题。嗯，他说 ，the opportunity cost of producing 90 units of consumer goods is 20 capital goods。啊，乍一看，啊，这个 point X which。Is currently operating at point X. 这个我们现在是在这个点上啊。它对应的两个点好像确实是二十和九十，但是它代表的真的是 opportunity cost 吗？不是。So how can we calculate the opportunity cost? 这我们就需要用到图中给我们的信息了啊。首先 ，PPF again is a straight line. Means there is a constant opportunity cost between two goods, but how to calculate the opportunity cost? We have to use the two extreme cases here. 这两个点代表什么？代表我在现有的资源下，我只能生产八十 units of capital goods， 或者是一百二十 units of consumer goods。那它其实是有一个比例的存在的啊，这个比例是八十比上一百二十，等于一比一点五。这个 ratio 是什么意思呢？它非常的有用，它其实代表的就是我们的 opportunity cost， 也就是我这个资源如果可以生产一个 unit of capital goods， 那它就可以生产一点五个 unit。Of consumer goods. All right. Therefore, okay. Let's let's change the color. So here, in order to produce ninety units of consumer goods, ah, 这儿是变成了 ninety units. 我们 the opportunity cost 是什么？很简单吧，很好算吧。九十除以一点五是六十，所以要生产九十 units of consumer goods， 我们必须要放弃六十 units of capital goods. All right. So choice A is wrong. The twenty is wrong. It should be sixty. Okay. So let's look at choice B. Moving to point Y will decrease the rate of economic growth compared to point X. So we are now going up from point X to point Y. Point X represents what? We just said it's 20 plus 90. What about point Y? It represents 40 units of capital goods plus 60 units of Consumer goods, 对吧？我现在可以看到我这个 consumer goods， 我我是减少了，但是我的 capital goods 呢，我其实上升了。那 capital goods 它是有利于我这个经济增长的嘛，对吧？那从 point X 到 point Y， there is actually an increase in the number of capital goods， so it should be good for the economic growth. Therefore, the word "decrease" is wrong. Should be "increase the rate of economic growth." So you sure? This B again, it's wrong. So let's look at choice C. 
the opportunity cost of increasing the output of capital goods is constant. This is correct. Why? Because our PPF is a straight line, which means there is a constant opportunity cost between two goods. It's a definition. It's absolutely correct. So let's double check. Choice D. Moving to point set will increase the current living standard again. Choice B and choice D, we used a similar analysis. It's moving up. From point X to point Z, right? There is a decrease in the number of consumer goods and an increase in the number of capital goods. No, I now this consumer goods, I consumer goods. I reduced. This clearly increased my living standard. Right? But it changed the direction. It changed the direction. It changed the direction. It changed the direction. Definitely, it's wrong. Ah, so the answer here should be C. 那 PPF 呢？它其实是一个非常简单易懂的概念，但是出现在考题中啊，不一定每一个学生都可以拿到满分。啊，我们还是需要把定义和例子结合在一起，学会有效的提取图中给出的信息，多做题。多练习。